Good morning, guys. This is the last letter to the editor for this week's stories, and it is from Rosaria, Rosaria, I'm slaughtering her name, Cruz. She titled her letter, Too Many Statistics, Too Few Facts. So she's saying, you're not giving me enough. The question before Hopeville, and by the way, we are still looking for the opinion and then her reasons and evidence to support that. The question before Hopeville is, do we want solar or natural gas power? So she's bringing them back to the original question that the mayor presented to them in the town meeting. We need more information to make a decision. There's her opinion. Last night's meeting did not help. People, I put my O here, her opinion. People just threw around facts and statistics. They caused more confusion than clarity. We need a group to study both sides of the issue in depth. Okay, and here's kind of her suggestion to how to solve this problem we're having about not having enough information. I'm just gonna put a suggestion over here. Some people said solar power is too expensive. Their only evidence was the Mesa Palm solar plant. That plant was built five years ago and it is just one example. Have they looked at others? Do they know why Mesa Palms was so expensive? We need to look more closely. Surely, new solar power technologies exist that are less expensive. Plus, we don't need a power plant for 100,000 homes. Half the size is all hopeful needs. Okay, so here she's saying, her suggestion basically is, we need to do, do, more research. Some people said natural gas causes too much pollution. Okay, so here she's replying to solar power being too expensive. Here she's saying the ones that said that that's too much pollution. But is that true? I've heard conflicting evidence. Eva Pierce said electricity production was responsible for over 70% of U.S. greenhouse gas emissions in 2012. What percentage of those emissions are due to natural gas? Okay, so here we have, again, do more research. And this is more research about the cost. This is more research about pollution. Our code action for today when you come to class is to make the funniest face you can make. In my opinion, in my opinion, here she puts it out there, we cannot yet make an informed decision about what kind of power plant to build. That is because we do not have enough information. We should study the facts carefully. Then we can decide whether to choose solar or natural energy. So again, she restated her opinion. She gave the reason why, and then she gave a suggestion for what to do next. So this one was kind of cool because this one was a little different. Move my face so y'all can see those notes. This one was presented a little differently than the other articles we read, where we had evidence and all of that other stuff that people pulled in to support their opinion. Now she does have evidence, actually, doesn't she? She's using she's using evidence from what other people have stated, but then she kind of questions that evidence um, with other possibilities that could be an option. So I like this one for our, the one we end with because this one's really good about somebody who says, you know what, we need to slow down. We need to look back at what information we have and how we can kind of approach this differently to make a more educated decision. All right, guys, I'll see you in just a little bit in reading.
Make sure you take your notes. Remember the code action, and I will see you in a bit.